You've never heard of the Millennium Falcon? It's the ship that made the Kessel run in less than 12 parsecs. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We're looking at a vintage collection Job of the Hut action playset. This is one I've been uh, excited about. I never pre ordered it. Um, yeah, it wasn't made available to a lot of us here in Australia. Um, a few few retailers. I did have to pick it up through an eBay seller who was very gracious to, you know, it was basically retail, so I didn't have to pay too much for it, which is great. Um, so yeah, very, very happy to get this set, um, particularly for the, you know, 8D8 and the Jabba being pretty much of a re-release uh, re of the one that came with the Katana, um, which is the one I'm actually using right now in my Jabba's Palace, as you can see, but I'm looking forward to, uh, yeah, putting the new one, I don't know, I might just put the new one in the Palace and put the Katana one back, back in there and get the, get the sail barge open again, um, for display purposes, um, to be able to have the Jabba. And then the extra throne, um, is going to go to Boba Fett. Um, oh, sorry, the, uh, the, the throne that is there in the throne room is actually going to go back down to Boba there on that shelf. So I'm excited to do a little bit of rearranging with this set. Um, it's not one that I found was, was too much of, you know, if I wasn't going to be able to get it. Uh, so be it, you know, but I'm, gl I'm glad I did, um, some cool parts in here, I love the nod to the vintage packaging with the sort of recreation of the old vintage Jabba's playset with the modern figures, um, you know, 88 coming with this set, uh, Squid Head is still one I don't have, Tesek, uh, that four pack just was not available here, it just... And it's, you know, nearly 300 bucks on eBay to get one sent from the US. So, um, yeah, it's a, it's a bit ridiculous. And the Salacious Crumb. I still need to get the Vintage Collection um, Layer and Boost Disguise. And an update of Chewy. So we'll get that at some point. We've got Jabba with his frog, frog in a bowl. So we get a look at all the all the bits and pieces. It's looking pretty good. Yeah, just love that. Love the photo photograph there. Three PO eight E eight Bib Fortuna in the back, and then all the parts. Got to get a got to get a Jawa for that scene too, actually. Uh, looking at it. it, looks like they've used an old Power of the Force Jawa. You see little light up eyes, and you can sort of just see under the T there where the uh, the waist sort of bends. So I don't know. I do have a couple of Power of the Force Jawas. One might one might end up just up on the uh, shelf there. I'll try and find a leaf outside. <laughs> Nothing too much on the top. Um, top is the same. Nothing more on the bottom that side. Just another picture of Jabba. Um, yeah, I've got my trusty knife here. I do like to keep my vintage collection boxes. I have in the past too, but um, over the years they sort of get a little bit, they get a little bit dinged up. But uh, yeah, we're gonna just go with it this time. I'll just put that one across to the side. All right, so straight from the get go we have. Little salacious. Yeah, I'm gonna keep this one on the card because I don't need to open up another salacious crumb. And there's that 66A, the elusive one that came with the uh, big Death Star back in the day, and there was the mouse droid as well. So I'm actually gonna see if there's anyone that's done a star case for this one in particular. Um, but yeah. That's, that's really cool. I love that little card back. Do nothing too nothing too fantastic on the back. I don't know how much it differs with the with the original release that came with the uh, Revenge of the Jedi Death Star. This one's obviously got the Return of the Jedi logo. So we're gonna put that one aside, and then we get. 
of the bag of accessories. And then we get 8D8. This one will be this one will be opened. I might do a separate review of that one. If he comes on, on an unpunched card too, but I don't know. He he's, he looks pretty good. I'm looking forward to to having an updated version of this guy. I'm sort of looking over at my Power of the Force one, and that one still holds up in my opinion. It still looks pretty good. So, but yeah, I definitely want to get this one open. He looks good. I see he'll get he'll look good with our uh, Boba Fett. In Boba's, Boba's throne room. So, the Return of the Jedi. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep my my old power of the power of the Force one where he is, and this one will go alongside Boba. So, yeah, keep an eye out for that one. I'll do a separate review of that one after. Right. So, right here we have the throne. Let's get that rubbish out the way. And there we go. Yeah, it's nice. We got the got little gargoyles, the little one-eyed gargoyles on the front. The little rings that sort of hang down. Very nice. So that's cool. Yeah, I love the weathering and the detail on this thing. Looks nice. Slightly different in colour to the one that came with Boba Fett in the throne room. This is a much more of a sort of tan colour, whereas that one had a little bit of yellowing to it. I wonder if it's just... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe uh, maybe Bib Fortuna just spilt a lot of grime and gruel all over it, whereas Jabba... You know, maybe he had some goons to help keep it clean and, you know, as clean as it can for a hut, I suppose. But there's that. You know, I dare say this sort of rail piece is the same one that's been used multiple times. Because, you know, if it's not broken, why fix it? And we're going to get Jabba out of his out of his little plastic bag here. You know, a lot of people are very um, into the 2010 one, which was the Jabba that served me for the longest time. And it, it, it served me well. But in my opinion, this one is just so much better in terms of sculpt. They kind of dropped the ball a little bit. I've seen a lot of people um, just that's in his sort of underneath his necks there, his multiple necks, his tri double and triple chin there. That's sort of... Uh, doesn't really look all that great, but um, you know, a lot of people have given away an easy fix for that. But uh, yeah, in terms of sculpt, I think he's just absolutely spot on. And my uh, 2010 one I could probably go now set up with the uh, the Phantom Menace at the pod race. We can try and track down a, another Bib Fortuna to sit up there. So yeah, that's that's pretty nice. And I like there's a little bit of gloss to the inside of his mouth there. A little bit of that reflective dribble. But yeah, that that's a kind of only little flaw that I can tell. And you know, most people that have picked this Jabba up have had that sort of that sort of paint flaw. Where it's just a little oversight, I'm not sure, it meant to be a bit of shading and it just didn't apply. As it was meant to, because the uh, the one that came with the katana certainly doesn't look like that. So, but yeah, all the all the ripples and grooves on the uh, on the big slug. It looks pretty good. I do long for a I long for a walking Jabba where the the sort of yellow can sort of continue on down the front. But I'm considering most a sort of related to you know return of the jedi this is the kind you get all right let's take a look at this here bag of accessories so 
So here we get a bag of cushions. Which I personally like the, uh, the sort of the plastic moulded ones that have come with other ones in the past. But hey, these, there's something different. So yeah, some different shapes and sizes and colours. You know what, that's, that's actually kind of cool. I'll give them credit for that because that's uh, it's just, it's something different. I can, I can, I can like that. That's, that's cool. You can get away with that. And we got the three sort of pelts. Not indifferent to the ones that came with Boba in terms of shape. And slightly different stylistically, different colours. So you can drape them over the, over the throne. And then we get and get here we get a couple of doing my best try not to just throw them away. Here we get a couple of cups. A couple more cups. <laughs> we get a pie. Well, it looks like a bowl of gruel. And the little cockroach frog. Whatever that is. Yeah, so we put the two cups to the side. I'll get to them afterwards. Now we get Job the Jabba's. His hookah pipe. Or bong. <laughs> so we're going to put his... Put that in there. So that's a new feature for this one. I think that actually might be a little bit different. So that sits in there nicely. Yeah, that's that's a little bit different to the to the existing one, so that's cool. So yeah, definitely giving that a slight retool. So you can uh, smoke the days away. This little frog in there. A cup in one hand. But yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a nice set, really nice set. So I'm going to uh, have a little bit of a muck around and get them all set up over there, and then we'll, we'll we'll come back and have a look and see see how it sits. And here he is in his rightful throne room, and uh, yeah, I couldn't control myself. I opened Salacious Crumb. <laughs> come at me, I don't care. No, I was. Uh, I decided I was much too precious about it, trying to, you know, savor it for some long-term money value, and it's, uh, you know, that's not why I collect. So, I busted that bad boy off the card because he looks so much better than this one here. Still not bad. Make for another good, good monkey lizard. But yeah, that one is just pure fantastic so yeah I decided to stick with the cushions too the sort of the soft cushions I think they look good um, I will at some stage I don't know potentially I don't know wet them down you know maybe like just mist a little bit of water over these bits here just so they can sort of wet and hang hang over the edge and dry a little bit um, one thing I'm noticing is characters like yak face uh, you know, squid head up the back, which, you know, I, I would love to get that VC one, I'd very much so, that three pack with the skiff guards, the Vulcan Dazeri and the other guy, um, yeah, if anyone, if anyone has a lead on that pack, please let me know, would love to, love to get a hold of one, because Reese, you know, comes with Reese as well, but I can always do with another, another one of him, so yeah, they need the boosh. And, and an updated Chewy for this scene. Yeah, then I'll go up to my barge, which I've opened up for business again. And yeah, this this sort of room here where I had a lot of these characters before the throne room opened. I think I had had him in there. I think I had him in there. And a few of these guys sort of in this in this room here. On top, you obviously got Boba Fett and you know some of the other skiff guards. 
If I can get a hold of another one of these chewies, that one will do the trick for, for the for the palace. That was the Black Series 2014. But yeah, I need those other two skiff 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 guards to finish my skiffs there. And then a Sarlacc pit would be nice. <laughs> but yeah, nice to have that Jabba back in there with the layer. With Bartu, Bartu D2. And yeah, I'm so I'm sort of on the hunt for, you know, some multiples of these skiff guards. So mix and match and add a few and chuck a few more in the uh down here in the palace. But yeah, this is look looking really nice. Come down here and we've got Boba back on his throne. You know, this this shelf is mainly sort of, you know, Mandoverse coming into the Ahsoka series, but um yeah, this could use a bit more space, I think. So I'm going to, you know, spend a little bit of time thinking about how I'm going to achieve that. Because, you know, you've got mostly Mando related, a bit of Book of Boba Fett and all the sort of mixing in between. It's Fat Bib, one of my favourite figures of all time. And yeah, Boba Fett sitting on his throne. There's the new Cobb Vanth. Boba Cad Crescenton. But yeah, being able to set up that throne again is really good. So yeah, I mentioned having the plastic cushions on the throne before. They have come across back with the original throne, but with the Clone Wars Jabba. So that worked out pretty well. And then that old 2010 Jabba, he's just found a spot up here for, them for the moment. When uh, episode one... So yeah, I've got, got, got a few ideas of where to go next, so I'm excited. But yeah, all about sort of trying to track down that four pack now. That's that's sort of my next big collecting goal for my three and three quarter collection. It's getting that getting that four pack. The skiff guard, the Jabba's Denizen four pack. And then and then I think I'll be content for a little bit. <laughs> always, always love to see more. So, you know, such an iconic scene and moment from the film. Yeah, the whole opening sequence of that first act of Return of the Jedi is just wonderful. So, again, appreciate you checking it out. That's a nice... Nice looking packaging. It'll, it'll sit up nicely with all my other bits and pieces up there. Hope you enjoyed checking it out. Stay tuned, I'll do a video of 88. I'll even bring him out for a comparison. But yeah, appreciate it. And uh, we'll talk to you very soon. Till then, may the Force be with you, always. We would be honored if you would join us.